Good morning guys, welcome to another morning, welcome to another run. Just doing a warm up walk. I'm going the opposite way today. I normally go that way. I'm going this way, just to jazz it up a bit. Um, got the day off work today, started my new job on Monday, which has been great. Just been training this week, lots of online training, which is really done. Everyone seems lovely, I can't wait to get started. Obviously nervous about joining the new team, but I know the job, it's just all different. Um, yeah. So I'm doing an interval training session today. I did some strength training yesterday. Did a body coach workout. Ouch, I am so sore everywhere. I planned on doing my long run today, but um, I have to go and pick something up at about nine o'clock, so I just didn't have time, so I'm gonna do a long run at the weekend. So, a bit too stiff to do it anyway. Need to be on tip top form to do that. So strength training, so a bit of walking, a bit of running, a bit of fast running. Yeah, should be good. The weather is a lot cooler this morning, which is great for running anyway. Um, not so great if you're also outside, but nice cool temperature. A bit overcast this morning, but the sun is supposed to be shining. So let's see how we get on. On a walk. Gosh, I'm stiff this morning. <sighs> there is absolutely no way I'd have done a long run today. I don't know what I was thinking. I've even said it in a vlog before. I've said. Oh God, I walked it last long enough. Hang on. Oh. Fast run for a minute and a half. Let's see if I can maintain this. Let's see how well I can maintain it, eh? Apologies. I definitely need the motion with the arms. I could not maintain it and now I can't talk. I definitely need this recovery today. Sometimes I just need to jog during this bit. Today, I definitely need to walk. I breathe. Good morning. It's happy Sunday run day. Sunday long run day, which is when most people traditionally do their long runs. Sorry, sorry. So, but today, I am doing my long run because I've worked Monday to Friday this week. So today is long run day. How many times have I just said long run? You can tell I've been thinking about this for some time. If I'm doing long runs at weekends, I do like to try and get up and about a little bit early. Otherwise it does just ruin the day for the whole family. It's like the morning is completely wiped out. However, I didn't get up too early this morning. It's now quarter to nine and I've still got another hour and a half of running to go. Because last night Dave and I got woken up by the police. <sighs> yeah, the police, loads of drama. It's like big crime scene investigation. Well, three lads <laughs> jumped over the next door's fence. It sounded like there was big, they were like being up to no good. And then the police came, the police helicopter came, trying to find their accomplice because apparently he was still missing. It's all drama. So at 4 o'clock this morning, I was wide awake, so I've had a bit of a lie-in. And then I have to have something to eat, and just try and wake up and eat. I've had a banana this morning. I'm all prepared and ready. I've got like, I'm like John Wayne of the running world. Waters, juices, gels, the lot. And it's only an hour and a half. So um, I've decided to just carry the GoPro in my bag today because I don't want to carry it on my wrist because it really starts aching after a while I feel like I'm holding it up so I'll see how this goes if it doesn't work go back to the old method so I better stop procrastinating and get running so about four and a half miles in going quite well feeling like I'm getting a nice even pace going had a bit of juice had a start burst yeah Going all right. It's quite busy this morning. The dodging 
all the people. It's just a nice, great run. Great snake, but great, can't speak. Great path for cyclists, walkers, and runners. Yeah, going well. I mean, this towpath is just perfect for running on. It's perfect. Lots of boats this morning. I just jumped past a cafe boat. Never seen that before, parked outside the park. It was great. Fancy bringing my kids back. That'd be nice. Heading towards the bridge at the bottom. Then I'll get on the road. When the traffic light turns green and you can't believe it, could you actually get a break? I'm now eight and a half, over eight and a half miles in. My legs are killing me. So having a little break when the traffic light turns red or green for them is amazing. Almost home. Unfortunately, the last little bit's home. It is on an incline. The podcasts are off because I can't bear the talking at the minute. A bit of music to try and get me through. Not long to go. That's it. Me finished. Long run is done. Nine and a half miles today, so half a mile more than last week. One hour, 34 minutes. I think I should have been about a minute less on the good to the planner. So I just wanted to get to that nine and a half miles, which I've done. Oh, my legs are aching, my feet are aching. I can't wait for some food and a shower. I'm sorry guys, God knows what I look like when I'm doing this. I only find out when I'm watching it back. It's not a pretty sight, I can imagine. First five miles were amazing. They're absolutely great, fantastic. And after that, it just got slowly and slowly and slowly worse. As you can imagine, it would. I just wish it was easier. Running certainly doesn't come natural to me. Wish it was easier. And like I said last time, I struggled to slow down, except towards the end when I'm exhausted. Maybe I'm saying stuff on repeat. I'm trying to convince myself. Maybe I just need to try the fart light method, the run walk method. Maybe that is what's going to be suited for this marathon. This marathon isn't about PBs, like I've said before. Maybe that's what I need. But there's a big but. I feel like I'd be letting myself down if I did that. I feel like I'd let, let myself down if I, I walk a little bit. Does it matter though, as long as I'm moving forward? It's now, what time is it? Oh, I can't see, sorry. It's now half 10, so not too bad really. I've still got the rest of the day to ourselves. We've got to sort the house out of the house. Yeah, we've been getting so much washing done, but the washing's not being moving out of the ironing pile. So it's like, my clothes need sorting out. And we're going camping next week, which I'm really excited about. So I need to sort all the house out for that. So that's the rest of my day planned. Watch the kids and lions. As soon as I tell the go, what are we doing today? What are we doing today? They'll be like, oh no. No one else's kids do the same. So I'm pretty sure it's standard. I'm pretty sure I used to do that too. Anyway, time for breakfast. Not sure what I'm having. Maybe some peanut butter on toast or some jam. It should be a hearty carbohydrate and protein. So they tell me anyway. I think I'll have a protein shake instead. I don't fancy protein right now. So that's what I'm going to do. Obviously, the peanut butter is. Any food nutritionists watch this or any runners? Comment down below. What would you eat after a long run? Because I would love some inspiration. Catch you later. Bye. Hi. I just got back from a run and it was a disaster. It has to have been the worst run since I started my training. 
I don't know what's going on. It's an evening run. Um, yeah, I don't know. I got up at half six this morning, went to work for a bit, just a bit of training again. Um, I've just been doing some jobs around the house, went out. I don't know what it was. My legs just couldn't move. Supposed to do about 45 minutes, um, ended up doing about 35. I would normally, I was close to home, I'd normally do like a little loop around somewhere else to make up those extra minutes, not today. And for me, that is unheard of. But I just could not do it. I could not do those extra 10 minutes. I couldn't do the 35 minutes I did to start with. There was a, quite a lot of stopping in it and then walking. <sighs> yeah, it just wasn't pretty. I don't know what went wrong. <sighs> Hope it's just a blip. I'm gonna go and really try and stretch out, um, stretch my muscles, have a bit of a shower or a bath, um, see if I can do, um, I don't know if it's just that my muscles are tight from a long run the other day. I don't know what it was. I do some foam roller in. Um, yeah, I hope that's not the start of things to come. I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's just a blip. Definitely no runners high today, but I did it, I suppose. Um, every cloud has a silver lining. Um, yeah, I just don't know what happened. So, better luck tomorrow. Another run tomorrow. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm just not very with it right now. I'm really miserable about how bad that went. Yep, catch you tomorrow. Good morning. Welcome to a very early start in South Wales. Yeah, that's where we are today. South Wales, heading off for a run. Very, very early start today. It's a long run today. It's um, 105 minutes is the plan today. I'm a bit nervous. The glasses are on. The roads are really not the same as at home. No paths. Quite narrow. Steep as well. Lots and lots and lots of hills. So last night in the tent was not too bad. Well, I say not too bad. Intermittently sleeping between the howling wind and the rain. I think we've just had this tail force tail of a hurricane that's swirling up the country, hoping it's going now. The um, blue skies are, are coming out. I've got the glasses on today because obviously I have no idea where I'm going around here. The path that I've chosen to do thinks is along the cliff tops as well. A little bit of trail running today, I suppose. So we'll see how it goes. Take you with us. I'm carrying my phone so I know where to go on the GPS. Here we go already. Ah! So, wish me luck guys. Um, David and the kids are just back at the tent now. Crazy Granddad has just arrived because he has traveled day later than us because he's staying in a hotel so he's having a couple of nights less than us so he traveled halfway down England Wales last night and then did the rest this morning he must have got up at like five o'clock always an early riser he's crazy granddad so I'll best put you down and actually get some running <clears throat> so the headphones have definitely come out now look at the side of this road one car wide I'm going to definitely be ended up in those bushes if I come across a car. Hopefully. Not because it's so early in the morning, but the headphones have definitely come out. So I can be mindful of what's going on. Oh, it's so nice getting out of somewhere different. The trouble with running somewhere you don't know is you don't know the gradient. It just keeps getting steeper. It doesn't look like much from that camera. But believe you, me, when you're used to running around the streets of Manchester, and I live on a couple of hills, this, that is absolutely nothing. Oh, God. I want to do upwards. About to get to the top to get to the cliffs. There's certainly a bit of run light on there. I'm not sure I'm not running it anymore. Oh. 
Don't make my decision from there really. But coming up these hills is just awful. <laughs> anyway, I think David warned me. I'm gonna watch this back and go. See you, can't hold yourself. Yeah, I think I might need to. Why oh, didn't pick this for long? But I don't know. Oh well, let's carry on. As much as it really upsets me, I've decided to turn around and go back. I've done three miles this way. It's really not an easy path to run on when you're not used to it. And it was like a sheer face drop. You need proper trail shoes or hiking boots to do it. I don't went halfway though. Because this is just stunning. I love being by the sea. Something so special. I don't fancy falling down that low. Something so special about being by the water. But I'm not prepared to injure myself. And I've got the rest of my holiday. You know, I need to find an alternative route. Right, I better concentrate on running. This is certainly the hardest run I have done during this training plan. Me whinging about all those other runs. It's nothing. This is gruelling. It's hard. And now I have to face that. The gradient on that looks ridiculous. And I came down it and it was hard work coming down, let alone going up. Only six miles in. So 10k and I am on my way home already. I just don't think I can do the full route today. Oh, I think I need to go back to the drawing board around here and see which routes are better. I don't think there are. Right, tackle in the hill. Maybe I'll see you at the top. Well, that was freaking hard. Back at the campsite now. I only did eight miles today. Kids and David want me to come back so we can get some breakfast. But I think after those hills, I think I'm not sure I could have carried on a little. But I always can. I always make myself carry on. But it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I did eight miles today. A couple of miles short, but at the end of the day, I still did it. It was a hard workout. The legs went harder, tried harder, but anyway, back now. Oh, time for a shower and some breakfast.